Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Eternal AC Education. So in this session you are going to learn chapter 5 Python variables and operators. Content of the session is tokens. Under tokens you have to learn identifiers, operators, delimiters, keywords and literals. So in this video you are going to learn in with example what is identifier, what is delimiters, what is escape sequence. So what is a token? Python breaks each logical line into a sequence of elementary lexical component known as tokens. A normal token types are identifiers, keywords, operator, delimiters and literals. White space separation is necessary between tokens, identifiers or keywords. So a part in a program is said to be a token. The token can be an identifier, keyword, operator, delimiter, literals, all together is going to frame a program. First of all, what is an identifier? An identifier is the name used to identify a variable, function, class, module or object. So now we can see the uh, identifier using variables. In further chapters, we will learn with function, class, module and object. Anyhow, for all the thing, we are going to give a user defined a name to a variable, function and class. The name should have some rules. It should be under that um, rules and regulations. An identifier must start with an alphabet, A to Z, caps or small or underscore. So the starting letter must be a alphabet or underscore. The identifiers may contain digits. It can have a digit 0 to 9, but it should not come in front. My Python identifiers are case sensitive. Uppercase and lowercase letters are treated differently. Ident identifiers must not be a Python keyword. Keyword in the sense it is the reserve word which is having special meaning in the Python interpreter. Python does not allow punctuation characters such as percentage, dollar, at the rate of etc. within identifiers. So the valid identifier names only alphabet, alphabets with underscore in between, alphabet, alphabet followed by a digit. Invalid are starting with a number, name with a dollar, uh, instead of underscore here they are using used a hyphen so it's not allowed continue is a keyword so i cannot use the word for a variable or function name keywords are special words used by python interpreter to recognize the structure of a program as these words have specific meaning for interpreter they cannot be used for any other purpose they are given some of the um, frequently used uh, keywords in this tablet column. Delimiters. These are symbols and symbol combinations as delimiters and expressions, list, dictionaries and strings. That means apart from the alphabet and digits, the program can have these kind of symbols and with some special meaning when we are using this. These are said to be delimiters. Escape sequence. In Python strings, the black backslash is a special character, also called escape character, because the slash is not going to be printed. Instead of that, it will have a special meaning and usage. It is used in representing certain white space characters. Slash T is used instead of tab space. Slash M for new line. Slash R is a carriage return. For the same new line, it is forming a new line. For example, to print the message, it's raining. The Python comment is, it's raining. Can you see the slash apostrophe S? I'll explain with the example. So, 
say the example um, let's take a new window you are going to see the explanation of keywords identifiers delimiters escape sequence we can have the line in a comment a line starting with hash is said to be a comment this line is not used by the interpreter but it will be in the program window for our usage now I am moving the cursor and typing. There is a reason for this. In C++ we will move all the lines as per our requirement. If I block or a function starts means we use the curly brace from that location to the end of curly brace that our statements are belong to the function. But in Python these things are not here only space is calculated for the uh, block that means indentation is here that is very important here x equal to 10 only one character is used for the variable name num1 uh, alphabet followed by a digit equal to 20 that is used as the variable name then underscore where starting letter is underscore and it is going to be used as a variable. Now we will ask to print so print x, print number, print underscore where, print s name. So save the file. You find me by press save button. Yes, it's showing an error. What is the meaning for this? Because in Python, this indentation that means the space should not be there because space is an important role in Python, it is having a meaning for it. So, without any reason, just for a programming style or for the beautiness of the program, I cannot use space like in C++. So I am making to the, um, I am taking the unnecessary space and moving to the left side edge. It is also important concept, indentation. We cannot use uh, space unnecessarily in Python. Now you run the module. So you got the output as x value 10, num1 value is 20, var variable is 35, s name is Fatima. So these the um, example for creating variables. We are creating the variables with the rules of identifiers. If we violate the rule, what will happen? I am commenting all the line using multi-line comment of triple double quotes. For example, now we will create a variable in a wrong syntax. That means starting letter is a, a digit. It is not allowed to be a identifier. So I am declaring one num and as, um, trying to print it. But it is saying as invalid syntax. So the identifier should be in a perfect manner as the rules are given in Python interpreter. So now we have, I have taken the one which is in the front. Now you compile, you will get the answer. Okay, is it clear? So we'll, um, sometimes if we think that we can uh, have a keyword, if it's a keyword, I cannot use this word to be a variable name. This is also syntax error because 
have a identifier should not be a keyword. Now see another example, print, within the print I am giving a sentence, no, first a single word, welcome. We are using two uh, print statement. One is having welcome, another statement is having to Python programming. So if we run it, the uh, program will get the output as welcome to Python programming in the next line as it is in two different print statement. So now we can change this in single line, but we can make the uh, interpreter to print one by one. That is possible using the escape sequence slash n. Here slash n is given, but the slash n is not going to be print. Instead of slash n, a new line is formed. After the slash n, two Python programming is presented. That particular uh, sentence is printing in the next line. So this is the working principle of escape sequence. There will be some characters. It will escape. But instead of that, there will be some other action or implementation. So slash t, it will give a space between the word in horizontal. So horizontal space is given when we use slash t. So it is saying error because double quotes two times is not allowed. But I want that welcome to be printed with the double quotes in the output screen. So how can I do this? I'm, I can use the slash before the character of double quotes. So now if we run this, I can get. So the previous... Mm, double quotes have before that it, there is a slash here also before the double quotes there is a slash so it will print so there is a slash so can you see the output here with double quotes it is printed This is one of the use of escape sequence. So we have learned comment, escape sequence, delimiters, what is the keyword and what is the identifiers. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.